A big rally is coming, as the charts show. A double bottom. I'm your host, Steve Van Meter, and thanks for joining me for part one of the Sunday Chart Show, where we cover the technicals and momentum of the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, Russell 2000, and junk bonds. Let's kick this off with the S&P 500. We're looking at a breath indicator. In today's case, what we're going to make is for a big rally as breath collapses, price shows a double bottom, and momentum still hangs higher. Let's take a look here at the percentage of S&P 500 stocks above their 50-day moving average. Remember, if a stock or an index is above its 50-day moving average, that's considered bullish. If it's below, it's considered bearish. And when you see 12% of the S&P 500 above their 50-day moving average, well, that is really weak, and that's going to draw people in to buy the dip. And you notice that we were down here uh, but just above this level, and then all of a sudden we see breath collapse price collapse but notice that breath has collapsed more than price and that tells you it gives you an indicator that perhaps there is a little bit of overselling going on here as of friday now let's look and look at the percentage of s p 500 stocks above their 200 day moving average now, a little bit different than the 50-day because over the 200-day, you're considered in a bull market, below a bear market, and right now, a mere 75% of the S&P 500, a mere, is in a bear market. And people are going to look at that and say, wow, I want all over that action because notice we see breath now collapse right down to just mere, I mean, now we'll do it right, a mere 25% of the S&P 500 above is 200-day moving average. Again, price coming back down breath weakening historically why would you expect perhaps a big rally here well then this is where perspective may help and notice that when we see other periods here where breath collapses down to near these levels gets a little bit of a bounce gets rejected comes back down and then takes off like a rocket you can see that happen you know in a bear market rally in 2008 we can see that happened in 2016 2015 and what are we targeting here perhaps 60 percent of the s p 500 being above this 200 day moving average that that happened you're talking a big rally and equities coming and what is another case we look at a momentum indicator we have the relative strength indicator the rsi it just slipped below 40 remember momentum is positive when you're at 40 and above it starts gain losing steam just under at, when it breaks to the downside on 40 it's only at 38 and yet price outright collapsed so momentum did not validate this big drop in price again suggesting that we're going to see a reversal here and how about the macd the moving average convergence diversion or the crossover strategy now it's a lagging strategy of course which all data is going to be lagging this one a little bit more but notice it hasn't even had a negative cross of the macd the black line through the red line despite the fact that price outright collapsed and so it gives you some indication that momentum is not is validating this big drop in price and that there is likely to be at least some sort of reversal off of thursday's and then friday's big selling event and then we look at momentum timer pro it's trying to identify a much bigger bottom here now mind you this is still free there's a link up in the corner and the description below but what it does is it looks at the rsi over 40 to signal a buy signal or the macd a positive cross to get a buy signal and then it has its own internal signal you get two of those three confirming and it flags a buy but notice here on thursday and you'll see what's going to come on the uh, Friday's report or on the Monday's report because it's always a day behind. That doesn't mean all the data comes out day behind. Notice how on the one month, which is here, three month and six month, the one month hit a minimum buy signal. So it's trying to tell you the momentum is in the early stages of a much broader bottom. And that's what you want to see. So let's take a look here now from the bigger picture. The 21 day moving average is turning higher. That's an early sign. That's what you want. The 50 day and 100 are going to lag that totally fine. Uh, other than that, we're just back down to being above the nine day moving average not a big deal but looks look at the charts and let's make the case for this doesn't mean it'll happen but let's make a case for why there could be a rally and if you're a trader why you're looking for this let's go back here to january notice how prices came down into just the top end of the supply zone what happened prices rallied up came back down into the supply zone now notice the volume here on the first move is pretty strong that means people came in and bought it notice the second move they came in and bought it the third move didn't need as much ball volume and price took off now let's look at what's happening this time prices came down and look at how volume picked up people came in and bought the bottom then they came back price came back down a second time and there was a little bit more a little bit of volume and then what happened up here into the sell zone 
Well, the same thing that happened up here. There wasn't there wasn't a t a much volume up here, particularly in, in this sell zone, and so price gets dropped down here right into a buy zone. This is attracting buyers, and notice the volume picked up here again. So buyers like this level. If buyers can pull this off, what you're looking at is a potential rally, not only back higher, but blasting through this sell zone here, and perhaps getting up to you know the the zone above, or maybe into this this volume profile line, which is sitting here right at the two year mark. So there's the case and you've got, you know, some upward movement toward the moving averages. Remember price tends to fall, the moving average is down. It's been a while since it's tagged the 50 or hundred day, let alone the 200 day. So again, a strong case that we could see a bottom here and a big rally in price. All right, let's go on to the NASDAQ 100, see if we see something similar here. And look at how breadth collapsed, the percentage of NASDAQ 100 stocks above their 50-day moving average down to just over 12%. We've been around these levels before. Price came collapsing down. Breath did not validate that entire move down. So it's, it's close, but not entirely. Then nevertheless, you see very weak breath. That attracts buyers. How about the percentage of NASDAQ stocks above their 200-day moving average? Seeing it around 11%. Before when we were down here, brought buyers in. What do you think is going to happen? Buyers are going to look at this and say opportunity is knocking. And historically, when it gets down to these levels that we talked about, you tend to get a bigger move higher. It's kind of telling you that, hey, this is the bear market move. It's almost over. Maybe there's some more downside, but they can't be much because look at what the breath is. It's only 11 percent it can't get much worse well it can but you know historically it says not a whole lot worse so people are going to come in and buy this hoping for a big move higher now let's look at momentum same story as s p rsi is sitting at 38 price collapse momentum just slowed a little bit so you, you don't see that big validation of a large drop in momentum sure it's slowed down it's like tapping the brakes on your car and coming to a complete stop and that's not what normally happens. Look, the MACD didn't validate it. And you see it's got, it hasn't even had a negative cross yet. So and then another momentum indicator, not suggesting that this outright down move in price made much sense. Momentum Time Pro is not gonna pick that up either because it's using two of those three signals. Of course, we can probably expect it to hold a buy signal into um, um, when you get your report on Monday. But let's take a look at the bigger picture of the NASDAQ 100. Oh, by the way, for those of you who have been on the MTP list in the past, maybe aren't now, I've now able to add some suggestions and help you kind of identify opportunities to add to your hot list and track to make some money trading. All right, let's look at the bigger picture on the NASDAQ 100 price on the 21 day moving average is turning higher. Everything else is still red. Yeah, not a big surprise. The NASDAQ has really went from the market darling to something nobody wants. And again, another big picture here, you kind of notice the price has come down and on this nice amount of volume, buyer Paris came in and bought this dip. It came up, it ran out of steam, came back down. Not as much volume, price took up. Now, not a lot of volume here in the sell zone. Price comes back down and volume picks back up. To me, it's a similar story here that you've got some upside potential as people are buying this price level and all they have to do now is launch it sh through the sell zone up here, get up you know, to past the 50, maybe past the 100 day moving average and into that volume profile line, maybe higher, but at least you can see the cases people are buying these dips and that is something that gives you some idea that there could be that long awaited bear market rally finally being here. How about the Russell 2000, which of course of the three, I think actually is a much better pitcher. Look, only 27% of the uh, Russell 2000s above their 50 day moving average, but notably, it got up to about 50% and had a pullback, but unlike the S&P and the NASDAQ, it didn't, the breadth didn't come crashing all the way down along with price. You notice we're starting to see maybe a series of higher lows, and that is a strong sign there that people are buying at a little higher and higher levels. How about the percentage of Russell 2000 stocks above their 200 day moving average? Similar story, price rallied a little bit, came down, and this has not made back, moved back down to those lows. So even though breath is still weak here, I see more of an opportunity in the Russell, and the bigger picture says, look, this thing has already been battered and beaten up and has an upward target of perhaps 60% of it above the, 60, the 200 day moving average, from these prior levels, if we look back at history. So how about the RSI? Well, it's still positive. It, it rallied up, 
to around 60 and then pull back to 42. So it's still positive. Momentum's still positive here. And price maybe overshot that a little bit to the downside. How about we look at the MACD? It still positive cross. Nothing showing that it will for certain cross down to the downside, but it's pulled back a little bit. Momentum still to the upside. Momentum Timer Pro holding those buy signals mainly due to the RSI and the MACD, but notably now the mid on the one month or one month has moved to a mid. And that tells us that coming soon, you will likely see the three month signal move to a minimum. When you get a three month at a minimum and you have the one month moving higher, that is a strong signal of a bottom forming. How about 21 day moving average? It's still trending higher. The rest of this picture not worth even looking at. Let's look at the Russell and where's IWM? There it is. And here you can see a series of higher lows. And this is a good sign of, of people buying at higher and higher levels. Why of the three, I, if I'm gonna pick one for the upside, I like this one the best. You see price came down, look at the volume, people bought it. Price came back down a little bit. There was a little bit of volume there. This comes down, volume's picking up, telling you that people are buying these dips every step of the way. All it will take is price to settle in here. Maybe a little downside here. You see the little volume sticking out here. But again, if there's some upside move to the market, I would guess that the Russell 2000s going to see the bigger move of the three. And so we'll see if that happens or not. Uh, let's look at junk bonds, which may be the one argument that that's not going to happen. As these things keep heading lower, we see the you know, price just shot up as people couldn't get enough junk. All of a sudden, momentum took off with it. And the momentum yanked back is now almost back to over sold levels as price just outright collapsed down how about the macd you got a negative cross you know lagging that big move down in price how about uh, momentum time pro well you got to be on this on the list to see that one uh 21 days moving average is still headed up but not for long one month momentum turn positive that's not going to hold for long let's take a look at the junk bond space and you can see price making new lows i mean this is this is telling you there's massive liquidity problems in the market doesn't mean there can't be a rally in stocks but they will be short-lived because as junk bonds continue to go lower it tells you something is about to blow up in this market and that is probably the biggest warning sign if you chase a rally in equities uh, don't hang on to it too long hey well that's it for part one i'll see you back soon for part two i'm steve van meter thanks for watching thanks for being fans bye now